Hey everybody, today I'm at Scott Crossing in Decatur, Georgia, and I'm gonna show you guys our S5 floor plan. This is one of our studio floor plans here. We have a couple different options for studios, um, but we're gonna look at the S5 together today. So if you're interested in seeing it, then stay tuned. So we are gonna look at the S5 floor plan together here at Scott Crossing in Decatur, Georgia. Um, this is one of our studio floor plans here. We have quite a few different options um, for studio layouts. We also offer one bedroom layouts, twos and threes. So if there's a particular floor plan that you're interested in, definitely give us a call, let us know. We would love to show you around um, and give you a personalized tour. But for now, we're gonna look at the S5 together. So right here, we're starting at the front door and you're greeted by this nice long entryway through here. So it definitely separates your living area, your kitchen, your bedroom from the hallway. It gives you a nice grand entry into the home. On the right here is actually gonna be an entrance to your bathroom, um, but you can access it through your bedroom and closet as well. So if you wanna keep it just for you and keep it private, um, you can lock this door from the inside or you could allow your guests to use it as well and open it up. On my left here is gonna be a drop zone for keys, bags, um, jackets, your pet's leash. There's shoe cubbies down here, a great place for you to sit and put your shoes on, but tons of storage. And you can really take advantage of this cutout up here as well. Maybe make this a bookshelf if you wanted to or display picture frames, whatever fits your personalized taste. And then on the right here, is gonna be your water heater closet. Um, and then we're gonna make our way into the studio home. So you can see here that the cabinets are this really, really pretty blue color, um, contrasting with the white cabinets we also have over here. Um, so we do offer a blue and white and black and white option. Right now we're in blue and white. So if blue isn't your taste, we do offer a different colorway as well. Um, you'll see in here we have custom floor to ceiling cabinetry. That's a Northwood Raven signature staple, along with our wine rack. That's also Northwood Raven signature staple. So you could display all of your really pretty bottles over there. Stainless steel appliances do come standard throughout the home. Um, and in here, I would probably put a kitchen table um, or something to kind of fill the space in here, but it could also flow into an open living kitchen concept. Um, so you could mount your TV on this wall here, put a nice big sectional and then break the room up and put like a kitchen table in the middle over there by the oven and by the sink. Um, you could totally customize this room. I like that you have a lot of room in here. Um, it's basically a big open floor plan for you to um, design the way that you want and the way that you see fit best for your style. Um, you could put a love seat in front of the window here or maybe some bookcases on this wall. Definitely a customizable space. Through here is gonna be the bedroom. Next to that is actually a storage closet. So. You can never get enough storage, even in a studio. I would probably put my trash can in here um, and then maybe some coats or winter clothes or holiday decorations, really whatever you need, but you do have that additional space if you do want it. Um, before we hit the bedroom, I do want to step outside and show you the balcony. So this unit is facing our volleyball courtyard. Um, still really quiet and this balcony is a great size. You do get a balcony with the studio. Um, and I'm gonna step back into the corner over here so you can see you have tons of room. It gets really, really nice light. Um, and it's a gorgeous day out right now. So there's a fountain over here. There's a volleyball court, cornhole, dining pavilion over here with string lights. So it's really pretty at night. Um, just a really great space and area to be in. From the balcony, we're gonna head into the bedroom. So I do wanna point out, this is a studio, but it really feels like a one bedroom because you have these sliding barn doors here. So these block out most of the light from your bedroom. Um, but if you did wanna leave this area open, you could easily open those doors up. Um, and then you do have a cutout is here, here as well. So you do get some of the additional light if you want it too. Once again though, um, just to point out, you do have blinds on the windows, so all of this light can be blocked out. If you work night shift, if you like to sleep in the pitch dark, um, you could totally do that, just um, shut those blinds. And here is gonna be your bedroom. Um, so this bedroom could easily accommodate a king or queen bed. Um, if you have a bedroom set, you could do two nightstands um, and then maybe some kind of dresser, credenza or something on this wall. And I would probably mount my TV on this wall. If you work from home, you could stick a desk there um, or like put a plant in the corner. I like this little bump out here. I would definitely take advantage of this space um, and really make it unique to your taste. Through here is gonna be your closet. Um, you do have a pocket door here. So if you wanted to um, close off this, I'm struggling with it, but you do have a pocket door right here. So if you wanted to close this space, you could easily do that as well. 
your washer and dryer are in your closet, which I think is super convenient. Um, that way, if you wanna do laundry, put your clothes back up, um, it makes the process very fluid and easy. The washer and dryer do come in the home move-in ready, so you won't need to bring yours with you. They'll be here on move-in day waiting for you. And then through here is your bathroom. So you have a single sink vanity. We're gonna see the same finishes in the bathroom that we saw in the kitchen. So that's gonna be the blue cabinetry, the chrome, um, the chrome touches on the cabinets in the sink. This really, really pretty quartz countertop. Um, and you have tons of storage options underneath and then also that storage on the counter space over there as well. And then behind me, it's gonna be your bathroom shower. So this shower is absolutely gorgeous. You have a rainfall shower head, a detachable adjustable shower head, perfect for cleaning. And then you also have a really, really nice um, bench over there for added convenience. You'll notice in here, the floor has remained consistent throughout the home for the most part. It's been vinyl wood plank flooring. In here, we do have this really pretty ceramic tile textured pattern. Um, it's the same in the shower as well. And then this was the door that we were speaking about earlier. So if you wanted to keep this just for you, you could lock this off. Um, so that way nobody has access to your own bathroom. If you're interested in this S5 floor plan, then give us a call and let us know. We'd be more than happy to get you set up on your personalized tour of your new home.